Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. All you Ultimate Warriors, giving that subscribe button the Gorilla Press Slam. Loving it. Today is all about how to survive rock gardens. And I am here at Rocky Knob at the Roman Road. Uh, this is aptly named because the entire trail is rocks, like there's no trail. And in fact, I can recall a couple years ago when I first came here, I didn't think it was a trail. I was like, I guess this is where they just put all the rocks from the rest of the mountains so that the rest of the stuff is rideable. And then I saw somebody bomb down it and I was like, how? Well, this video is about how I got here, the misconceptions I had, the early mistakes that I made, and where I'm at now with technique so that I can help you go from somebody who's likely afraid of hitting rock gardens, especially at speed, to somebody who, now like me, loves them. Let's go. All right, so before we get into the details, I want to talk about what I'm not going to talk about. And one of those things that I'm not going to talk about bike setup. There's a ton of videos about rock gardens. They're talking about optimal tire pressure and like what sag to run and all that stuff. Look, I am a dork, admittedly, but I am not dorky enough to be messing with my bike setup like every ride based on what features I think I'm going to hit. I'm more of a set it and forget it kind of person. The other thing I'm not going to talk about is line choice in the context of which line is the fastest. Uh, this is not like an expert level video, and there's tons of those that are talking about kind of race-like, which line is gonna win you the race and like lose as little time as possible. This is about surviving rock gardens. So the line choices I talk about here are going to be about which is the safest way down. All right, so it's best to start small with these rock gardens, and here's a really good one, and it's on Middle Earth, which is a trail that connects to the Roman road. This is a great example of line choice and how counterintuitive it can be. This rock garden, which appears to be uh, like smoothed over more recently, there's really three lines. There's far to the right by that tree, middle, and then over to the left. Typically people will think, I want to go for the smallest rocks. And that would be over here on the right. There's a bunch of little small rocks. Those are actually the least stable. They're kind of like river rocks. And it, it's in a little channel so that your tire will actually hit the small rocks and some of the big rocks. So I usually try to avoid the small, tiny little rocks, little shark teeth, and they can kind of move on you, especially if you're going slower, they can actually like kind of move out of the way and that's disconcerting. The other thing is you might think, well, I wanna go for the fewest rocks. And in this rock garden, that would be over on the left. There's only one, like two, three, four. However, these rocks are really angled. Uh, and really what you want to do is look for the flattest kind of profile. So the, this is not a lot of rocks, but they're not good rocks. Plus they're covered in moss, so they're more likely to be wet. So in this case, I want to hit the middle line, which has quite a few rocks and it's got the biggest rock. And so counterintuitively, I'm usually searching for the biggest rock because once you're on it, you don't have to worry about it anymore. It's like fewer decisions have to be made. Now this one, I don't know if you can see, it kind of comes up a bit, like a, like a round hump. And so that's important to use pumping technique. So you're gonna push into the ground, both suspension front and rear, and then unweight the bike to kind of come up with the change in the topography with that rock. And this rock garden should be pretty doable. So I'm gonna come dead center. The first few rocks should be easy. And once I get to the flat part, that's when I'm gonna press down and kind of raise up over the next hump of the next couple rocks, and then I'll be done. As a bonus challenge, this rock garden has a huge kind of hidden boulder that if you just keep going straight, you'll run right into it. So we'll see what I do. All right, so I'm gonna try to pump right now. Yep, and that's what you want is that kind of pitter patter sound. All right, so here's another rock garden that's great to talk about line choice. Uh, this rock garden is so cool, it comes with its own warning sign. The smoothest way down here, actually it's also got a caution sign. <laughs> but the smoothest way down is to stay in this little trough where there's dirt as opposed to rocks. And then stay to the right for the same reason. Then when you get to all the rocks, well, this line's a little jagged, so you'd come over here to where it's smooth but then it stops being smooth and there's this little bend that is a lot smoother. So you might hit that. No, don't do that. 
It's called line choice for a reason. It's not called curve choice or squiggle choice. It's line choice. You don't want to be going so slow that you're changing direction because that's when you're liable to have your front tire get hit at an odd angle and fold on you and then you go over the bars. So actually what I'm going to do, because I do want to prioritize the smooth rocks that come up here, I'm actually going to hit rocks that I don't have to hit because that's going to allow me to stay in a straight line. They're not too bad, and they do set you up for this nice, really smooth kind of bridge down the rock garden until here. And I'm not gonna try to turn and do this quick curve. Instead, I'm going to actually press down and unweight the bike over this really sketchy section and kind of not hop over it, but yeah, unweight the bike. And then I'm gonna hit this flat rock and proceed down the trail. It is not the smoothest way, but it is straight and it is doable. So I'd rather prioritize that and being able to go with some speed, some pace, than trying to kind of snake my way through a rock garden where I'll probably fall. So check it out. All right, so I'm gonna try to stay left and hit those rocks right here. And then, yeah, it's rocky, but you can keep the speed, makes everything doable. All right, so the Roman road, it's time. Here, there's so many rocks that you can't really go like microscopic granular detail as far as rock to rock decisions. I'll just tell you, going dead center is kind of the way it has to be. And every time you get to two trees, there's a drop that you got to kind of get the bike out in front. But otherwise, it's pretty doable if you just go dead center. So not a lot to talk about there. Uh, instead, what I want to talk about is body position and what to do with the various parts of your body. So we'll start with your feet. The thing with rock gardens is, you know, you're going to be running into a lot of objects. And if your feet are flat on the pedals, your inertia is going to want to carry you just straight off of them and forward. So what you want to do is keep your heels down, both of them. You're going to have one foot in front of the other, but both heels down so you're kind of pushing against that force that's coming at you. The other thing is with your hands, I'm also going to want you to like twist back your grip a little bit again so that you're kind of pushing against the rocks in advance and you want to grip pretty tight so tight grip your feet have this like tight pressure but that's the only thing that's going to be tight the rest of your body needs to act as suspension you've got to be able to pump against the flat stuff and soak up the stuff that's not flat and so your body should be acting as you know your fork and your shock so to speak that's gotta be loose, despite the fact that the ends of your appendages have to be tight, so that's super important. Your hips, you know, you're gonna be hitting these rocks, you're gonna be pretty scared, so the tendency is to get up to them and go, oh, no, 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 I don't wanna hit it, I don't wanna hit it, and get the bike way out in front of you. The more you do that, the less your front wheel has downward force on it, has weight on it, and therefore the more likely it is to get deflected, and if it gets deflected, it's gonna fold on you real quick, you're gonna go over the bars. Have I gone over the bars in a rock garden, which means you're landing on your head or your back after a flip under rocks? Yes, and it's like the worst. So fight the tendency to get too scared and get too back. Stay centered over the bottom bracket with your hips, tight grip, tight feet, and the rest is gonna be suspension. All right, here we go, Roman Road, full run. Speed up, heels down. Keep it loose. So we got the first drop here. Second one here. Yeah. And then a big rock to press over here. And made it. Woo! All right, y'all. That does it for how to survive rock gardens. Hopefully you found this useful. And soon, if you keep at it, you'll go from somebody like me, who was scared to even walk up the Roman road, to someone who's hitting alt lines, just to get more rock garden action. <laughs> so cheers, y'all. Till the next ride.